Welcome back to the Sabred for Parts channel. Today we're making yet another motorized satellite antenna rotor. Now this time I'm going to be using this old security camera pan tilt mount, an old tripod. This is actually identical to the one that I'm using on my camera right now. I really like these, but unfortunately I broke this one. So it's not great for the camera, should work okay for an antenna mount. And we're using this highly professional box of wires. Now this is Ideally a copy of the control box that I made for a previous antenna rotor. This is what the old one looks like. This controls my L-band satellite dish. This is used for weather satellites. And this is put together with an Arduino microcontroller. It uses 24 volts AC to run this other camera pan tilt mount. And then it's got a little manual control in the front. It's got an LCD readout. And I want to do basically the same thing with this motorized pan tilt mount. Now, I've used this before manually driven. I've got just a little Ethernet adapter here that I hook up a Ethernet cable to, and then I run that over to a 24 volt AC control panel. But I want this to be computer controlled. We have an Arduino microcontroller. This is the brains of the operation. We have some solid state relays, and these drive the motors on the pan tilt mount. I've got some push buttons here. I've not mounted them into the case yet, but they are wired in. And these kind of override or manually jumper the um, relays. We have the little I2C LCD module that is run into the serial um, bus of the Arduino. The serial bus also goes out to these wires, which are going to go to this uh, compass and tilt sensor. And that tells the Arduino where the antenna is currently pointing. So when this is hooked up to a computer, we will have uh, serial commands coming in over USB telling it where to point. The little sensor will tell it where it's currently pointing and this will drive the motors to make those two match up. So a friend did an arts and crafts project recently and this was my craft or Maybe it's art, I don't know. Um, if it doesn't work, I guess it's more art than craft. I didn't finish it there because I didn't have a drill and uh, actually I made all these holes in the case with my multi-tool, but for the push buttons, I think I'd like it to look a little bit nicer. So I am gonna use a drill there. So this tripod turns out to be basically a perfect fit into the pipe. Well, almost a perfect fit. It's still pretty wiggly and Everything's looking pretty janky here. That's a typical save it for parts project. I set this aside for a couple days to try to let some adhesive dry between the rotor and the tripod. And it's so cold out here, I don't think anything's gonna set up properly. So we basically just got it duct taped on here. We've got some hot glue. Anyway, I've kind of forgotten where I was because I'm doing three or four videos at once as usual. But I think our next step is to solder together the little sensor module. Let's see if I got the wiring halfway right on this. Um, nothing's on fire yet, that's always a bonus. That's going the wrong way. Uh, only one wire backwards. Uh, that's probably a new record for me. All right, we're getting close to having something here. I still need to program the Arduino brain on this. Uh, right now I'm just running it manually with those push buttons on the back. I may have already ruined that because I set it up out here. As soon as I turned my back on it, it fell over. Unfortunately, this tripod is not strong enough to hold up the weight of that rotor and the legs just start to slowly collapse is what it looks like. There is snow just packed into all the electrical contacts here. This is the downside of using something from the trash with all the wiring exposed. So let's see if this even works. I flashed the programming onto the Arduino. So when I hook it up to the laptop, turn on the USB, turn on the 24 volt AC, this thing should swing around and point north at the horizon. And then the little screen on the box should tell me the current azimuth and elevation. Let's see if any of that actually happens. And we've got no action from the board, nothing on the screen. So my Arduino programming did not take. On the plus side, it looks like manual control still works just fine. Well, sort of, there's a little, little flop there when it gets to a certain part of the gearing. All right, so the Arduino is giving me some kind of error. At least I assume it's an error because the text is red. I have no idea what it means. I'm going to have to Google all that and see who's Katerin and why isn't she working with Type S. Hi. Yes, you're very helpful, Kitty. Yes. So the sensor is not working. The relay board is not working. The LCD is not working. The Arduino does seem to be working. I can talk to it with a console. I can get a help menu from it, but Nothing else is working. I, I guess the manual controls are working. And I think most of those problems are from before it fell over because 
when I first flashed the firmware onto it, it didn't show anything on the screen here. So yeah, I've got a lot of issues with this. I am not a good microcontroller programmer. Oh, I forgot there's this stupid calibration dance you have to do with the sensor where you wave it around in 11 different directions and orientations. All right, so after calibration, it knows where vertical is, but it doesn't seem to know where left and right are. It doesn't know where north is. People sometimes ask, why don't I just design a whole rotor from scratch using mechanical engineering skills and stepper motors and 3D printed parts and laser cut parts and I have no idea how to do that. I have enough trouble trying to get this stupid thing to run. Well, I got the LCD to at least turn on. It won't display anything, but at least it's on. Still can't get the compass to work. I have recalibrated this like four times. I've set the magnetic declination. I've saved the calibration. I've reset everything. I've uploaded the original software that doesn't have the LCD code. I've re-uploaded my code with the LCD stuff. Nothing works. Possible improvement. We have azimuth motion now, although it really hunts around. It's like that compass is not very accurate. I'm giving the rotor a real world test. I've already forgotten that the tripod won't hold up its weight, so I have to just use it on the ground like this. Also, it's super windy today and the camera is probably just hearing wind noise. I always pick the best days to do these videos. So if this thing doesn't blow over, we're going to try getting the ISS when it passes over in a few minutes. We are getting all kinds of errors on the USB terminal. So now it's telling me the Arduino doesn't exist. This is kind of my typical Arduino experience. It just never does the same thing twice and I never know why. All right, let's try this again. This is like the eighth time I've tried. It's working this time. Eight tries is the charm. So if this abomination actually works, when the space station starts passing overhead in another 10 minutes or so, it should start automatically tracking the station, aiming the antenna at the station, and then I can tune into that with my software-defined radio, listen to the ham repeater on the station. Or at least that's the theory. I haven't even checked if the ham repeater is currently operating. I think it is because they've just undocked the recent uh, crew mission there, and the Dragon capsule is not at the station anymore. They usually turn off the repeater when it's there, but I think everything should be good. All right, the audio seems to have stopped working on my laptop, so I won't be able to hear the repeater on the station, but we can play this back later if I record it. Well, this was working. It seems to have uh, lost track of itself here and just started spinning in circles. So this particular pan tilt mount does not have limit switches for the azimuth, so it will basically just spin forever, um, and it's tangling up the antenna cable, so that is uh, not great. Well, it wouldn't be a save it for parts project if things just worked. In addition to the rotor wanting to spin forever, we still don't have the little screen working, and now the computer audio doesn't work. On the plus side, I think we did hear some amateur radio operators through the space station's repeater, so let's listen to those. All right, I've been struggling with this rotor for months now, trying to get it ready in time for the Fram 2 mission, which is the first human crewed polar orbiting uh, space capsule. And they're doing some SSTV stuff. I wanted to have the rotor ready for that, but they've already launched. People are asking me, when are you going to do Fram 2? Like, I, I don't have time. I just don't. I have too many things going on. This, I'm very unhappy with my quality of work here. For how long I've spent on this, it is even worse than my normal bodge together half ass stuff. It is just, the tripod's terrible, my wiring's terrible, the programming on the Arduino doesn't work. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, taking up more space in the garage, which I just don't have space in the garage for this. So I'm gonna tear all this apart. I'll save the component pieces. I'm gonna throw away this tripod because it just doesn't work. And we're gonna come back to this someday. I hate to end a video by giving up on something. Normally I would just push this aside and come back to it in a month or two, but I don't like anything about this. I actually had another ham radio project that I was doing lately, trying to upgrade the mobile radio in my car. That was a review thing that kind of spiraled into another failure because the company that sent me the radio just... It's a brand new product, they didn't do enough testing on it, it didn't work. So I'm, I'm a little burned out on ham radio at the moment, including this thing. Long story short, we are going to move on to something else. So that's the end of this video. 
Thanks for watching. If you sat through the whole thing, I apologize for having a failed video. I do occasionally put these out. I do have failures, um, and yeah, sometimes it's a fun look at behind the scenes of when things just don't really go right. Sometimes you have to know when to cut your losses, give up, and redo it when you have more time and space for it. Even as I'm taking it apart, more bits are coming off the tripod, so yeah, this was a terrible idea. Alright, that's all I've got for this video. Check out my other videos if you want to see other satellite projects, some of which are more successful than this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.